I found eggs on my car and everywhere, and she checked her fridge and noticed that the eggs were missing. Let's see what I have here. The plaintiff, Jessica Lang. Jessica Lang, you were great in King Kong. Well, thank yeah. you. <laughs> she has a lot more money than I do. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we'll see after this case. <laughs> yeah, you are suing your next door neighbor, Nicole Wolford, for $444 for car damage due to her vehicle being egged. Wow, that's no yolk? <laughs> no, no yolk, Jerry. Uh, I like it. <laughs> Jessica, so why don't we start with you? So the morning of December 30th, I woke up and looked out my window just to see what the weather was like, as I normally do. I noticed white objects on my car, and it looked kind of like balled up uh, paper towels or something. So I went outside and I checked it out and realized that they were actually eggs on my vehicle. One was on the windshield, one was on the hood. There were eggs on the sidewalk surrounding other vehicles. And mm. I kind of followed the trail of eggs and it led right up to their house. And the direction that the eggs were thrown, you could tell it was from the house and not from the street, just the way that they kind of like splashed Splattered. or yeah, and cracked that direction. And so I was outside, I started looking around, thinking about what happened and cleaning up the eggs so that it didn't dry on my car and ruin it or further damage it. And I called the non-emergency police line just to file an incident report of the vandalism and the incident just so that it was reported. It got cleaned up. Um, Nicole and I think it was just Nicole at first or Nicole and the kids, they came outside and I explained, like, I found eggs on my car and everywhere. And she checked her fridge and noticed that the eggs were missing. So we're cleaning up the eggs. And I don't see any damage at the time. I go inside, go about my day. A little bit later, I go and just kind of inspect my car a little further. And on the front left part of the hood, there was a egg-shaped crack with spatters. And that's on. I have two different pictures. That's yeah, exhibit A and let's B. Let's take a look at those pictures. Oh, yeah. So when I did notice the damage, I made the police report because the first one was just an incident report of vandalism. I knocked on Ms. Wolford's door and told her that there actually was damage. And, you know, she apologized, said that she would take care of it. Okay. Let me hear your side. So the morning of, um, I got woken up by her neighbor on the side, banging on my door, letting me know. Basically, I open the door, and he just goes like this. Um, his car wasn't involved. Nothing on the side was involved for him. But he kind of just let me know. Basically, this was it. I asked him politely to pr please leave my property. I would handle it with, with Miss Lang. So afterwards, I went upstairs, checked with the kids. There were now four kids in my house when, when I went to bed, there was only two. Everybody said they didn't throw any eggs. Um, so I yelled at the kids, told them to come down. They were going to clean it up. We'll talk about it later. My daughter washed off Miss Lang's car, as she said. At the time, there was no, no damage. I had the other kids pick up the eggs around, around the parking lot. Afterwards, I, I did speak to the parents of the other kids. I said, well, my kids said they didn't do anything. No matter what, whether they were willing to help out or not, I was going to take care of it. Emma, if you want to just stand up, let's talk to you for a little bit. This is kind of a New Year's party you're having. You're not the first to, to have that. But let me hear from you what happened. Um, so I had friends over, um, sure. like probably like three or four. We were all in my room. We were just messing around. And I forget who had the idea, but we, we ended up with eggs and throwing them out the window. And we did not try to hit anyone's car or vandalize anything. That was not the point of that. We were just yeah. messing around and having fun. and. I threw all my eggs directed towards the yard, the grass yard, and I only threw like two or three. So I know for sure it wasn't me. You don't need me to tell you that throwing eggs out of a window, first, it's a horrible way to prepare them. No. And secondly, when people are, you know, have these parties and they do crazy things, at some point, you have to bear the consequences of, of what you do. You didn't intend to cause harm. You said, this is kind of fun. And you throw them out there. But it's negligence to the point of a reasonable person would know that if you've got four kids throwing eggs out the window, 
something bad is likely to happen. Yes, sir. So there has to be a consequence because you're 15 years old. Mom, I'm sure you've had a discussion with your daughter. I mean, I, I'm a parent, a grandparent, you know, my kid or grandson now gets out of line. There's a serious discussion. This is part of growing up and learning lessons that you do something like this, there are gonna be consequences. You were part of that group that was throwing eggs. Yes. Because of the throwing eggs, your car was damaged. So you sued for $444. I fined for the plaintiff $444. I think she likes to try to act better than us because of our living situations and she does get snotty with me all the time and gives me dirty looks when I'm outside. When we moved in, we were told that the neighbors have ran out the previous tenants or the owners of our home and they were worried that the neighbors would do the same with us, but we're not going anywhere.